Hi everybody, welcome to Knowledge Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Shannon Fino coding. Before entering into the video, kindly subscribe my channel Knowledge Academy. Now let us enter into the video. Uh, Shannon Fino coding, it is used to generate code word for the source which is emitting signals. So here, in this example, there is a source which is emitting signals and uh, there are five symbols which are emitted by that source. The symbols are x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5 and each of them are with the probability 0 0.4, 0 0.19, 0 0.16, 0 0.15, 0 0.15 respectively. So here uh, the first step in Shannon Fano coding to generate code word is we have to arrange the symbols either in increasing probability or in decreasing probability. Here already the things that are present here are in decreasing probability so I am not going to make any change in the first step. I am writing them as it is. I am writing them as they are. So x1, x2, x3, x4, x4 x5 they are with the, they are in increasing probability 0 0.4 0 0.19 0 0.16 0 0.15 0 0.15 since they are in increasing probability i am not going to make any change in the order in which they have to be written and now in stage one we have to divide this probability into two parts the upper part and lower part in such a way that the sum of the probabilities in the upper part should be same as the sum of probabilities in the lower part. If you are not able to uh, get equal sums in both upper part and lower part, then we have to divide in such a way that the upper probability, uh, the upper part, the probability, the sum of probabilities in the upper part should be slightly lower than, should be sm slightly smaller than the sum of probabilities in the lower part. So this is how we have to do. So in the in stage one, I am dividing the symbols according to their probabilities into upper part and lower part. So here in the upper part, I have only one probability. The reason is if I ha if I take uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.19 in upper probability, then what happens? Then sum of the probabilities in the upper part becomes 0 0.59, whereas the sum of the probabilities in the lower part becomes 0 0.46 which is smaller than the probabilities of upper part. So I am not making that. So I am dividing like this. In the upper probability I have only 0 0.4 and remaining all the probabilities are in the lower part. Now the next one is I have to assign bits, assign values to the upper part and lower part. So the common procedure is we have to assign 0 to the upper part and 1 to the lower part. So according to, to that condition, the probability 0 0.4 which is in the upper part has got the value 0 and all the other probabilities which are in the lower part has got the value, have got the value 1. So this is how it works. Now <clears throat> in stage 2, again I have to divide these probabilities into upper part and lower part. Since in stage 1, I had only 0 0.4 since only one probability in the upper part that cannot be divided in stage 2. And I have more number of probabilities in the lower part in stage 1. So they can be again divided into upper part and lower part in stage 2. So that is what I have done. Again the same procedure. The upper part uh, and lower part should, should be same, should be almost equal. If it is not possible, then uh, the sum of probabilities in the lower part should be greater than the probability in the upper part. So this is how it it should be. So here again, I am not dividing as 0 0.19, 0 0.16 in one part and 0 point. So I am not doing like that. The reason is, if I have 0 0.19 and 0 0.16 in upper part, then the sum of probabilities in the upper part will be greater than the sum of probabilities in the lower part. So I am not doing like that. So again, in the upper part, I have only one probability 0 0.19 and all the other probabilities in the uh, lower part. Now the next thing is I have to assign values. So when I assign values, the same procedure that we have to follow. 
the probability to the probability that is in the upper part we have to assign zero and to all the properties that are in the lower part we are assigning one so we are repeating this procedure until we are done with the uh, lost value so so this is how it works so i have done up to this so it has reached up to stage four in stage four all the probabilities are divided into upper part and lower part and further division is not possible so i'm stopping with this now the next step is to assign the code word to generate the code word from these values which are we have assigned to the upper part and lower part so now see for the symbol x1 for the symbol x1 which has the probability 0.4 i have assigned only 0 so we have assigned only 0 so that becomes the code word for 0.4 so here the thing is the symbols which are having high probability which are occurring from the source at a uh, frequent number of times that will have a uh, smaller number of bits they can be represented by smaller number of bits so that is the thing here and the symbols which are having lower probabilities they have to be represented by a uh, higher number of bits so that is happening here 0 point for the highest probability it is being represented by single bit 0 now the next symbol x2 which is having the probability 0 0.19 so here it has got the value 1 0 so the code word is 1 0 and the symbol x2 the symbol right the symbol x2 which is having the probability 0 0.16 has got the value 1 1 0 the symbol x4 which is of the probability 0.15 has got the value 1 1 1 0 then again symbol x5 has got the value 1 1 1 1 so i have generated the code word based on this rule and next i have written the number of bits in the code word here i have written the number of bits in the code word so in for the symbol x1 the code word is 0 so the number of bits in the code word is 1 for symbol x2 the code word is 10 so the number of bits in the code word is 2 similarly 110 number of bits 3 so this is how i have written for all the symbols so the now now the next step is we have to find the average code word length average code word length the formula here is so this is the formula summation i equal to 1 to i p i into l i p i multiplied with l i so p i is probability and l i is the corresponding code word length so with this we can find the average code word length so when i when we expand when we expand this formula we have will be getting p1 into l1 plus p2 into l2 plus p3 into l3 plus p4 into l4 plus p5 into l5 p1 is probability 0 0.4 and l1 is the number of bits in the code word that is 1 p2 is the probability 0 0.19 and l2 is the number of bits in the code word 2 so i am performing all the arithmetic calculations here and the final value that i have got here is 2.46 bits per symbol so 2.46 bits per symbol so this is what i have got as the average code word length now the next procedure is next step is we have to find the entropy entropy and uh, this is the formula to find entropy entropy h is equal to summation i equal to 1 to i p i log 1 by p i to the base 2 so this is the formula p i is again it is probability and uh, 1 by p i to the base 2 log 1 by p i to the base 2 so here we have to be very careful with this portion the reason is when we find when we uh, type this value in calculator in scientific calculator to in order to find the value 
it will give the value in base 10 log base 10 here we have log base 2 so we have to make small changes small corrections we have to make some modification in this formula to find um, log base 2 so here this is the correction this is the modification that we are making so here capitalize for total number of symbols p into log 1 by pi to the base 10 divided by log 2 to the base 10 so this is the modification that we are making right so here this is changed into this log 1 by pi to the base 2 is changed into log 1 by pi to the base 10 divided by log 2 to the base 10 now i am expanding this formula substituting the value for i equal to 1 to 5 i have got p1 into log 1 by p1 to the base 10 divided by log 2 to the base 10 plus p2 into log 1 by p2 to the base 10 divided by log 2 to the base 10 plus p3 into log 1 by p3 to the base 10 divided by log 2 to the base 10 like that it goes on for all the values from 1 to 5 next replacing the value substituting the values of the probabilities in this formula will be able to find the entropy and for this particular problem we have got the entropy as 2.226005 so this is the entropy for this particular problem next we have to find the efficiency and the efficiency is entropy divided by average code word length which is 2.226005 divided by 2.46 and i have got the value as 0 0.905 and when we calculate the percentage of efficiency it is 90.5 percentage so with this huffman coding is over so huffman sorry shannon funnel coding is over um shannon funnel coding the procedure that we are following is we have to divide the probabilities into two parts upper part and lower part and uh, to the upper part probabilities we are assigning zero and to the lower part probabilities we are assigning one so this is the main um, procedure that we are following uh, to find the code word or efficiency or entropy using shannon fan coding in the next video we shall discuss how to generate the same thing generate uh, entropy code word length code word and efficiency using Huffman coding the same video is available in Tamil language also so watch the video kindly uh, comment like share and subscribe to my channel thank you